Now we all know that heavier things fall faster, but does that mean heavier riders descend faster? Yes, Jackson Goldstone has put his slight stature, shall we say, down to maybe missing out on some World Cup wins. So does that mean if I weigh the same as you, I would be as fast as you? <laughs> <laughs> How many pasties? Let's find out. <laughs> tells us that in a vacuum with no air, objects fall at the same speed. But in the real world, however, air resistance and a bunch of other stuff we didn't really understand changes things. But we do know that heavier things have a bigger kinetic energy, so they are more likely to overcome the slowing effects of air resistance, meaning heavier riders descend faster. So believe it or not, Rich and I are almost 25 kilos apart in weight. So we're going to use that vest to see if I can close the gap on some timed runs. Yep, we're going to do it over two different types of course. We've got a long, consistent, even fire road that we're going to do it down. And then we're also going to take it to the trails, Anna. Mm, I can hear the keyboard warriors already going, but Rich is taller. What about air resistance? What about rolling resistance? They're on different bikes. Yeah, well, you tough. We're going to see what the results are anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Should we get on with it? Let's do it. <laughs> Stop right there, Anna. Okay, this is our first fire road test. Now, our first control, no vest for you. We've got our start here, our designated finish 150 meters down that way. And what we're gonna do is basically just let go of the brakes, stand up, uh, sitting up, sorry, and just free will. No mm -hmm. braking necessary. First one without the vest, keep it nice and controlled. All right. Should we do it? Yeah. All right, three, two, one. Wow, this is flat oh, out. Oh, so exciting. Ah! <laughs> Under a second, maybe a second slower than me for you. Yeah, I was only about five meters or so behind. It was closer. What I think is interesting is actually, we thought well, heavy riders descend faster yeah. on this first one, but actually, your light weightedness, yeah. not a real word, but we'll use it this yeah. time, <laughs> you got up to speed slightly quicker and then, yeah. we, and then it just maintained. Yeah, we just matched. Yeah. I, I think maybe your height might act as a little bit of a sail as well, a bit more air resistance, so that might slow you it's down. because I'm ripped. Um, so should I wear the vest or should yeah. you wear the vest? Ah, oh, you can wear the vest. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, come on, back to the top. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Do you want a hand? Days. Let's see. Do you want to like lower it on? Oh, let's uh, <laughs> have to clean and press this. <laughs> Are you going for it with the helmet? <laughs> oh, wow. Is it the right way around? I don't think there is a front to back. Is the label there? <laughs> Why would you leave your helmet on? Ah! I feel like I'm being born. <laughs> oh. Do you know what you just look like? <laughs> you look like that scene out of uh, Ace Ventura when he's coming out of the rhino's butt. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you just look like. You're a rhino's butt. Ooh. Okay, Ooh. Anna, you are officially weighted up to the max. We are pretty equal now. Yeah, even weight. Yeah, so I'm, I'm intrigued to know, are you going to be even faster yeah. or is it going to even things out now, like off mm. the line? I might just be heavy and aero now. <sighs> Time Let's will see. tell. In Shall three, we? two, one. That time. I know. Oh. Bye. What's going on? <laughs> oh, I'm picking up loads oh, of wow. speed. I'm overtaking what the, the heck? cameraman. What the Louis. Bye. <laughs> Absolutely, fl you flew even further away. I know, it was like, I felt slow to start, but then I just kept picking up the Yeah, so we were bottom. fairly even again off oh. the start. Yeah. Uh, but then you just seem to pull away. I know. So interestingly, my Garmin says I was over a second quicker on that run with the best. So oh. I was quicker as a heavier person. Gravity made I it don't, so. My brain can't <laughs> compute this. <laughs> I think, so why wasn't I quicker first run? I think I was more aerodynamic 
And now that I'm heavier and more aerodynamic, like a smaller I'm surface, like even it? more quicker. Ref. That's Should crazy. We, uh, take it to the single track yeah, and see please. what it does this has there. Been a, this has been a crushing blow here. <laughs> My bike feels really light now when I pick it up. <laughs> so I would recommend anyone who thinks their bike's too heavy, just go and buy one of these because it feels really light now. <laughs> All right, should we head over to the trail and give it a go? Yeah, but I want to feel what this thing's like. So yeah. on the way, I'll take this. Oh my God, right. Is hey. it that? It's not light, is it? It's not at all. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, there you wow. go. How do you, how does it feel God, to weigh up, as love. much as you now? <laughs> yeah, right. Oh. So quite hard. Oh bloody hell. Right, there you go. Okay. Strap you in. Oh my god. It's actually better when you like pull it in tight right. so it doesn't dig into your thighs. Did you breathe before? <laughs> Gee. There you go. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, thank God that's over, Anna. I don't, <laughs> I don't envy you in the slightest for wearing this. It was, it's I'm an scared. eye opener. I'm really scared, actually. Yeah, yeah, you should be. So we've arrived at the top of our controlled trail run now. Mm -hmm. So we're both going to head down it, same as before. We're going to just roll in off the start, no pedals, cruise yeah. straight in, no weighted vest to begin with. We'll have a look at your times and stuff. We'll sort of then get back up here and get that. Stick old this thing monster on. on, and then see what the difference is. Here we go. Control run for Anna Chase. Oh, it's so light. Free wheel and run, no vest. Let's go. Oh, it feels so slow, doesn't it? <laughs> Okay, time to run done without the vest. Just heading up to get the vest on and do my timed run. Interesting, as I, I just seen Rich go past and he's so fast, um, but he does pump the trail really well. So obviously all of that comes into play, um, but it'd be interesting to see if I can close the gap just a little bit by being the same weight as him. Let's find out. This is going to be scary. Oh, I've unvelcroed. Oh my days. What is going on here? Ready, no pedaling. Cruisy, turned on. Ah! like fun and scary and ridiculous. Oh, I felt like I was going quicker, um, but almost like picking up too much speed. So I, it was scaring me and I was putting the brakes on more and I was having to brake sooner because I'm heavier as well. Oh, it's no wonder the boys go through brake pads more than me. Um, but the proof is in the times. So let's uh, head to the cafe 
and see what the results are. So, interesting day, Rich, because on that fire road, strangely, I was quicker than you. Yeah. By, only by a second, but it was a very short fire road, wasn't it? It wasn't much in it, but it wasn't that much of a distance, right? No. And we were thinking, heavy is going to be faster, but you were even quicker again when you put the weights first on, right? Yeah. I was like, flip it <laughs> this, but I don't really understand physics too much, but this time, it's not fair. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's some, like, maths going on here yeah. that's dictating that perhaps you were slower because of air resistance, because you're taller. Drag. Drag on your yeah. tyres, maybe. Um, but anyway, I was one second quicker than you on the fire road and one second quicker with the vest. So weighted did make me quicker yep. to a point. So we took it over to the trail. And what was your time on the trail? Uh, I cruised on down at 127. It's nice, yeah. psh, mellow run. <laughs> so yeah. give you the chase, right? Keep it consistent. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I cruised down at 130. So one minute, 30 seconds. Unweighted. Unweighted. Nice. So do you think I closed the gap with the weights? I feel like it's got to be slower. From when I tried it yeah. on, and it's just hard to move around in it, it's, I don't know, I feel like it should be slower. Yeah. But you know, what? you know I felt quick. Yeah? To the point where I was probably breaking a bit too much. Oh, wow. It was like, uh, is this going to be quicker or yeah. slower? And the results are one minute, 31 seconds. Oh, negligible almost. One just second slower. And I think that's just because I was a little bit scared and I was breaking a lot. So yeah, more runs may be needed. Maybe, maybe it is uh, a heavier rider does go quicker. Maybe mm. if you put on 25 kilos, more. you could uh, be wow. like Bruni. Maybe. <laughs> Does that mean if I put on 50 that I'd be world champ? Yeah, you'd be Greg <laughs> Renard or something like that. That's exactly how it works. <laughs> uh, okay, well, let's let the uh, audience comment on our very scientific uh, yeah. experiment, shall we? Let us know down in the comments below. What do you think? Do you think heavier riders are quicker? Have you experienced it while out with your friends? Let us know down in the comments below. <laughs> See ya!